Guys, uh, Alex here. It's been a while since I've done a Inkscape tutorial, so I thought it was about time I did another. So welcome to YouTube. And uh, in this tutorial, we'll be looking at creating a text, but making it into a perspective view. So it goes from this looking to this. Now, I know this is nothing super uh, amazing because uh, there's a few videos out there that show you exactly how to do this. But I found when I was following those instructions, I was not getting the desired results such as what I see here. And uh, I set myself out to find out what could be causing this problem. So essentially, we'll just do the quick tutorial to show you the basic principles of how to convert this, this text into this text. And then we'll show you the potential issues that occur and how to fix that problem. So essentially what you do is we'll start right up from scratch, okay? We will create some text. So you just got this is the text. The next thing you want to do is this is font. So obviously you can go into it and re-edit and rechange, but we want to change it from font into a path so that this font becomes essentially straight lines as you would draw in vector graphics such as like this, right? So the T will be essentially straight lines like so, then the the H, then the I, the S, and so on will be straight lines. So <clears throat> you write up your text using, well, you, well, let's start again from the beginning. You go to this, uh, this uh, icon here, which is basically the create and edit text option. Type in your text, whatever you want it to be. Now we want to convert it into lines. So you have to have it selected, which you can see here with all these arrows that it's selected. Go to path object path and now you'll find that you can't re-edit that text because right now the text is lines so now you want to create the shape of how you want the perspective text to actually look so by doing that you create essentially what's a, a domain so you draw some lines so you go to the draw bezier curve icon here draw your lines This is a generally a basic tutorial, but I, uh, I'm assuming that you know how to create these lines. So there you've got, and you close it up, so it's essentially the shape that you want the text to follow. Select the text, press shift on your keyboard and select the domain, and then go to extensions, modify path, perspective, wait a few minutes, seconds, and there you have it. Right, so you've got your text in the shape that you want. However, when I was trying this out, I discovered this. So I'm going to start again and do the exact same thing as we did before, right? This is the text. I'm going to go to path, object path. Then I'm going to select the text, select the domain, go to extensions, and then go to modify path and perspective. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, it's not exactly the same, is it? It's it's completely different. In fact, it's upside down and going in the opposite direction. So I started to get confused when I was looking at these video tutorials as to why this was happening. And what I discovered was it all depends on this, the domain. It all depends on how you draw your domain. And what I discovered was when you're drawing your domain and you start from the bottom left, right? Work your way up then come across to the right, down, and across, and close it. Then create your text. Here is the text. Convert object to path. Select both the icon and the text, and go to modify path, perspective. I discovered that the text stays the right way up going from left to right. And that's all because the domain was drawn from this point here, moving up the way to the right and then back down and then to the left. However, let's look what happens when we try drawing it a different direction. Again, I'll go from the bottom left. Instead of going up like I did before, go across, up a little bit, across, close it 
let me create my text here text here path object to path select both icon uh, items modify path and then go to perspective again you get a different effect so it's all down to the direction at which you draw your domain object that you want the text to wrap around um i can't tell you exactly what determines what way the text goes depending on like for example i know that if you go from uh from the bottom left up across down and left you'll get the text in the same legible way that you wrote it from left to right such as here i know that's the case but what the terms it determines it to be upside down or sideways or etc i guess it depends on what point you start off whether you start off at this point here or whether you start off at this point here or whether you start off at this point here and so on and there's also another varying factor so if you start at this point here you can go from down the way or you you can go like for example if you start at this point you can go that way or you can go that way if you start at this point you can go up or you can go right if you start at this point you can go up or you can go left so there's a combination of factors that will determine what way your text will actually end up looking like i can't tell you right now what that combination is all i can tell you right now with this version of blend uh, this version of uh, uh inkscape i'm trying to find out the version uh I apologize, I'm not sure what version of... Oh, there we go. Version 0 0.91. If you start from the bottom left up and then across and then down and so forth, your text will be legible in the correct way that us humans know how to read it. And then you can experiment trying, starting off at different points and going up to the left or to the left and then up and so forth to get the different types of effects. So that's basically what I found and I just wanted to, sh to sort of show you a troubleshooting guide as to how to fix that problem because it was actually driving me a little bit crazy beforehand. So I hope this helps guys and you know if you like the video um, please like and or, and or subscribe and that will be a great help. So we'll talk to you soon and I look forward to doing the next video. Speak to you soon. Bye bye for now and good luck with everything.